What's up, Mish Mafia? It's your girl, Cece, and today, y'all, I am back with another video. I came home from work, changed my clothes, and got to cooking, and I decided that I wanted to make, well, that I want to make the viral cottage cheese ice cream that's going around. It looks really, really good. It's high in protein. It looks easy. It's only like three ingredients. I need to try it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients we have. And yeah, so before we get into this, y'all, clearly I'm by myself. The girls are doing their own thing. Sheik is watching TV. I told him, I was like, look, we're gonna be trying this for the first time. I wanna make it. I might as well film it and yeah this is what we're going to be using you guys we got some fresh strawberries i just cleaned them we got the cottage cheese we have some 100 percent pure maple syrup we have some graham crackers and then we have the blender and this is literally all we need you guys all right so i'm gonna use this whole thing of cottage cheese y'all i was looking for one that doesn't have milk but <laughs> I'm trying to stay away from dairy, but I was reading something that said cottage cheese to use. Uh, hold on, y'all. The best cottage cheese to use is whole milk. And although this one is not whole milk, it's 4% milk fat because they didn't have the whole milk one. I was like, doesn't smell bad at all. It really does not smell bad. Okay. So we're going to take this whole thing, you guys. We're gonna pour it in the blender. I gotta get a full processor. I think it would have made it a lot easier. So we're gonna take the strawberries. Um, I might, uh, no, it's okay. Cause I was, I was thinking about putting more, but it's fine. Okay, some strawberries. So you could use honey or maple syrup for your sweetener. And I read that you should be generous with the sweetener because if not, then it'll taste salty. I think salty. I'm not sure. I never had cottage cheese just like that. So I don't want to put too much and then it's like too sweet. You know what I'm saying? All right. I think that's it. I don't want to add no more. I don't want it to be too sweet. I think that's enough. Because if anything, I guess once the ice cream is done and it's not sweet enough, we could just add some maple syrup in. You know what I'm saying? Because it's supposed to be creamy. All right. So everything is inside the blender. And we're about to blend this, baby. No. Mm. That is fire. All right, y'all. So that is blended. And I tried it, you guys. And it tastes, she goes over there blowing me kisses. What y'all doing? Oh, that mosquito got me. Anyway, so it is a blended perfectly. Now I'm about to put it in here and I'm thinking about cutting some more fresh strawberries and just putting them on the top, even though I put some already inside. Um, I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, I wanna show you guys how, oh my goodness. Okay, matter of fact, I don't even know why I did that. Why did I do that? Let me put this back on because if not, the blades is going to come running out of the... All right, so. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at that. It is perfect. Oh my goodness. It's perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, y'all ready? Check this out. Okay. Look. nice and thick and creamy so imagine when it turns to ice cream oh my goodness oh my goodness y'all this is perfect and it's so good i can't even stop eating it you can even eat it as like a yogurt kind of i'm about to drink it that's how good it is now i'm kidding <laughs> now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna put the graham crackers because there's already strawberries in it and honestly i don't want to cut no more strawberries but the next time we do this, if this is gonna hit the way I think it's gonna hit, 
the next time we can definitely go all out put like blueberries strawberries raspberries all that good stuff so i'm gonna smash some of this and then we're gonna throw them right on top i'm not even gonna do too much like breaking them because they good just the way they are so all right we're gonna throw this right on top And honestly, I kind of want to mix it inside. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Oh my goodness. Yes. Just like that. Oh, oh, yep. Look at the mosquito. He's right there. He's trying to bite me again. No snake. All right. Graham crackers are in. I'm gonna put some more on the top though, for like a topping. Eh, no. All right, y'all, it's done. I'm gonna top it, and we're gonna put it in the freezer. How long do you have to put it in the freezer for? It says like two to three hours. So I don't know. Maybe we'll have, if we still up, we could try a little bit by like 11. But 11, 11 is late. But we can try it at least at 11, hopefully. Well, not you, you'll be asleep. But yeah. Let's put it in the freezer, y'all. I'm excited. All right, you guys. So it is the, the next best, day. The very next day. Yes, right. the next day. We have the yes. cottage cheese. Hold on, y'all. The That's cottage cheese, cheese ice cream <laughs> right here. The only thing right now, y'all, is still it's ice frozen it's and ice we've been letting it thaw out for at least 15 minutes so what we're gonna do what we're gonna do first we're gonna try it like this we're gonna try it frozen and then we're gonna leave it out until maybe give it like maybe another 30 minutes 40 minutes because we want it creamy that's that's the the texture that i'm waiting on i'm waiting for it to be creamy so y'all ready yep. so yeah. we're gonna try it frozen who's gonna try it first me, mm -hmm. me. let me grab another spoon okay it's, it's cold good. it's good wait. but it just it's just weird i don't know because maybe it's still frozen i don't know what it is all right hold on hold on av it's oh, good though gosh av is just all right it's our turn no it's our turn no i don't want to go now yeah it's good though Mm. Yeah. Oh. Mm. That's healthy. Me, Daddy. I told you it's good, right? Yeah. I told you. It is good. It's good. Oh, it is good. Well, I tried it yesterday, you guys. When it, well, you guys saw when I tried it, it still was um liquidy. It tastes like pudding. But it was kind of creamy. Yeah, like we could tastes. have it as a yogurt. Yeah, yogurt. I'm pudding. telling y'all, we can have it as a like yogurt. yogurt. Oh. All yogurt right, so pudding. let me see. Mm. It's not like that. Mm. It ain't like that. Yes, it is. It's not. Yes, it is. We're going to stop right here, you guys. And we're going to wait for it to get more creamier so we can see if yeah, she can likes it, it better. Maybe mix, mix it up. up and So we'll be right back. Cause look at Madison. Look at her. Look at her. She Driving me crazy. Okay, you guys? All right. <laughs> All right, you guys. So this is what it should look like. Hold on. Let me even try it. Okay, there we go. It should be creamy like that. You see that? There's some, oh, excuse me. There's some parts that are still frozen, but for the most part, it should be creamy like that. Oh my goodness, y'all. It's so good. Baby, you want some? No, I'm good, baby. So what you rated it, you said? Seven out of 10. Seven out of 10? It says what you give it. I give it a 10. Yeah, I give it a 10 too. Mm-hmm. Zara, you said a what? Seven. But Zara, Zara's only giving it a seven because she said the graham crackers killed it. I didn't even taste the graham crackers. No, I didn't even put that much. That's the crazy part. No, it's crunchy. No. That's That's the oh, texture to it. Mm-hmm. Mm. No, I can't lie, y'all. This is bomb. This is a must try for sure. All right, you guys, this video is over. The cottage ice cream, wait, what is it? Cottage cheese ice cream is a must try. And what I was just saying is that you can literally do whatever you want to this, add whatever flavors you want, whatever fruits you want, chocolate, peanut butter, whatever. 
and I love, love, love that. So we're definitely gonna be making this often because it's high in protein and it's not bad for you, actually. It's only like three ingredients because you guys saw that I put the cottage cheese, fresh strawberries, and um, maple syrup, yes? Anyway, so we're gonna end out right here, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your post notification bell so you get every single vlog, every single video. <laughs> every single video.